shit never is as bad as it seems. Fuck a lifespan, this is just one long dream. How's it going, everyone? It's your man Lost Disciple, the voice box of the underground of YouTube. Today is Sunday, January 1st, 2023. Today's a very special day because it's not only just the new year, but it's also Storytime Sunday. So to make sure we start things right, I gotta tell you guys this story that I've been dying to tell you for about a good week now since I've uh, been in this situation. So you ever heard how there's people that drink and just get really violent and just want to fight people? Well, I gotta sneeze. Uh, no, nah, as I was saying, yeah, you know how there's like people that just drink alcohol and just get really, really violent and just want to fight people? Well, I didn't know people actually get like that, okay? Because I work in an environment, I work in an environment where there's a lot of people that drink. And I've, I mean, I've seen people get angry and mad, but I've never seen people genuinely just start fucking throwing hands because... Just to throw hands, okay? I just never seen some shit like that. I mean, just straight up see somebody, like, like you walk up to somebody, see them just immediately just like, no, I fucking hate that guy. I'm going to start beating him up. And don't get me wrong. There's been a couple people in my life where I've never spoken to someone and I just see them and I'm, like, I, I'm just like, I fucking hate that guy. Because, you know, there's people like that where they just have that look to them where you're just like, dude, you know what? Fuck that dude. And that I understand. But to then actually act up act out on those thoughts of not liking that person i've just never seen that that was until about a week ago when i was at work um <clears throat> for those of you that don't know on the weekends i work at the uh, casino which i gotta go do in a couple hours actually but um and at the casino you know there's free alcohol and as i was saying at the casino they give out free alcohol and some people just get really really drunk and the waitresses, they're supposed to cut them off, but sometimes they don't. And there's a couple people that slip under the cracks. And uh, I don't remember exactly what day it was. It was definitely a weekend, because I work on the weekend. And uh, I was over in one of the areas where people, like a lot of people at my job, say they don't like it. And I don't I don't know why. I don't really mind the area. But I just, I just so happened to find myself in that area where a lot of people at my job said they don't like to be at. And I can understand why because it's probably to avoid problems like this. So I was having a long, a long, pretty rare, very long night at work just standing there. But it wasn't too bad though because I was what they call the relief. So I actually was the guy that sent other people on their breaks. So I wasn't, I didn't have to just stand at a table for over an hour when there was nobody showing up um i could just b i was bouncing around between three different tables so it kind of makes the night go by a little bit quicker than usual so um anyway you know i was having a long night at work and there was this dude that was there since okay i go in at like i went in at 8 53 and this is all at night by the way so this is like 8 53 p.m and I think this guy, I encountered this dude at one of my tables at around like 10.30, 10.45, 10.40. And the dude was there for, you know, till like when this, when this happened, like he was there for hours, okay? This didn't stop, like, you know what? This was when they just stopped serving drinks and it was on a Sunday. So on Sunday, like, so usually on, they stopped serving drinks, I believe at two o'clock, I think it, it is. On Saturdays and Fridays, and then on Sundays it's one o'clock. New Year's Day they made it at three, but nonetheless, um, so this was just around right around the time where the dude stopped having drinks. So it was around like two o'clock, and <clears throat> I was I wasn't whooping his ass like when he was playing, when I had him like when I was at his table dealing for him. Like he was doing like it was up and down. He was winning a couple hands, you know, he was, you know how it is, like a, it's like a tug of war, you win some, you lose some. And uh, I, I walked away, like the last I seen him, like, an, like around, it would be an hour before he did what he did. And last I seen him, he, was, he had a bunch of money, right? Uh, I walked away, I went to the table next to him, and I was dealing to those people. And he was still there, and by the time I went to the other table, so it's 20 minutes between each table, I should probably point that out. And by the time we went to the other table, he was he was um he was gone already. And from what I seen from when I was there, because I'm only at certain tables, I'm only at those tables for 20 minutes every hour. 
and he he was drinking but i didn't think he was super drunk like literally just when i was with him he was cool calm collected he, even when he was losing and when he was winning a little bit like he was just chilling and it wasn't until i went to that last table so literally it would be an hour after i came back so this was when he would walk when he walked away so he, i would say he walked away halfway in between me finishing up with my second table going on to my third table which he was gone already because when i looked over he was gone and 20 minutes after that because then i get my own break so this is about give or take 40 35 minutes after he initially walked away from the table and this is about an, this is officially an hour from when i left his table when i was originally over there and he was in a good mood so i get back and um finish my break i was relaxing you know, i went and drank me a monster energy drink i don't recommend that but sometimes you're just so tired and you just gotta drink an energy drink man i've been there I've had those nights, so I can uh, I can understand if you find yourself doing it too. But try not to uh, drink too many energy drinks. It's not good for you. Uh, I knew this one kid. He would drink an energy drink. He would drink an energy drink every freaking day in high school. I s kid you not. You know how there's those people that wear shorts every day in the fucking winter time when it's like 30 degrees outside. And and a school like mine, we had to walk around. If you've been a, if you've been a fan of my channel for a while. You stuck with me. You know what I'm talking about. My school, you had to, it was like a college campus. You had to walk around from different buildings. So, like, when it was cold outside, we had to endure that. When it was raining, we had to endure that. And there's people that just wore shorts. But unless this kid fucking drank energy drinks every day and eventually passed kidney stones. Like, and he said it was the most painful thing of his life, and he just stopped after that. So, my advice to you is if you drink energy drinks every day, just stop before you find yourself pissing rocks. And my, believe me, my friend... I heard when you're a girl, it doesn't hurt that much, but when you're a boy, and you got a piece of kidney stones, look it up on Reddit or Google. It is the most painful thing on the planet. But uh, nonetheless, it was an hour after this dude, you know, I mean, uh, I've just finished my break. Sorry, I'm fucking all over the place. I had just finished my break. I get back to his table and he's he's walking back. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So there's a guy that comes, right? Um, <clears throat> I should have, fuck, I should have explained this better. This is going to be a, a decent story. Because the guy, there's this guy that's playing at my table. So the, the dude that was there when I was first there, okay? We'll call him, we'll call him drunk man. The drunk man wasn't there when I fucking, when, um, when I came back, okay? There was this other dude that was there at the table. That I had dealt to before with his buddies at the table that was next to the drunk man. The drunk man's table. Okay, so my second table. And he was with him with his friends. And he was doing pretty good. It was like they're like some young guys. They got to be in like his third, early 20s. Like 23 years old. I know I'm going all over the place. Just try to stick with me here, okay? And, you know, the guy's doing... You, the guy, I'm talking about the young kid now, okay? We'll call him Gary. Or Tyler. I think Tyler fit him well because he looked like the Tyler. He looked like the type of kid... He kind of looked like the troll face a little bit, like his, his, the way his jaw was aligned, but nonetheless, Tyler, he was, a, he was a pretty cool guy. He won a lot on the table when I was with him, and um, so I'm talking about this is past stuff. This is before the current me coming back from break looking for the drunk guy, okay? This is like after, I mean before all this. So the Tyler guy was doing pretty good with his buddies. His buddies lost all their money, but Tyler won. So this is... So before, like after Tyler won, right, his um his friends were like, okay, we're going to go back to the room because I guess they had a room there. And they guess they all agreed to go back to the room or whatever, and Tyler left. So when I came back from my break, so now we're back in present, when I went back to that table where that drunk man was, Tyler was sitting there. Or he was, yeah, Tyler was walking to, he was walking from the bathroom to go sit there, but he had glasses on. So he remembered me, he's like, what's up, man? I'm like, what's up? He sits down at the table and he's just about to, you know, cash up the chips that he has. And fucking drunk dude comes out of nowhere. He walks over. I swear to God, <laughs> yo, this was the funniest fucking thing on the planet. I still can't believe it happened thinking about it. Just and he walks over. He sees Tyler sitting there and he looks over at him. Right. These people do not know who the fuck they are. This is the first time as far as I've known all night tonight like their first encounter and the drunk dude just sees him and he's like i'm gonna use some pretty harsh language here so if you're around any like people that shouldn't hear 
you watching content like this, I'm giving you a fair warning because I'm going to be completely explicit and raw. We're around like the 7 to 10 minute mark. I can't tell because I made a lot of errors. So I'm going to use some pretty explicit content. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three, go. So he's like, okay, he's like, he's like, you, he's like, you fucking pussy, you want something? And he's, Tyler's like, what? And he's like, yeah, you got a fucking problem? This is the drunk dude. He's like, yeah, you got a fucking problem? We can go to the bathroom right now. And I'm looking, and I'm looking down. I look down. I'm just looking down at the cards because I'm listening, and I'm like, dude, I don't want to, like, I'm, I'm like, because I'm chuckling. I'm like, I can't believe this is actually happening right now. There's no way. And then Tyler's like, what? He's like, I don't even know who the fuck you are. And he's like, come on, bro. We go to the fucking bathroom right now. You got a problem with me? And Tyler's like, dude, he's like, chill the fuck out. This is like, you fucking NPC. And I just lost it. And he's like, he's like, this is how you guys let people treat your, your customers. You guys just let them walk up. And just call you a bunch of pussies and stuff like that. And then there was, I forgot to mention, there was this old couple. And they were sitting at the table too. And they were just looking at me and I'm looking at them and I'm just laughing. And then Tyler's like, why are you laughing? Because I'm like, dude, what am I supposed to do? Like, I'm not security. I'm not my floor manager. That most all I could do is tell them to tell somebody. And then, hey, like, obviously she could fucking hear you. You guys are over there bickering at each other, calling each other pussies. It's about going to the bathroom. Eventually, the drunk dude, he starts backing off away from the table because my floor manager comes by to start checking shit out. And I kind of felt bad for the lady because there was another thing going on to the like going on on the roulette table on the left of me because I guess some dude like said he bet and the dealer was like, no, you bet after I waved it off telling you no more bets. And the guy was trying to argue it off saying that he needs to get paid because he still put the bet down before the bet the dealer did that and it was just a bunch of nonsense going on for one person to manage and i kind of just felt bad but it was overall the situation was funny so the dude starts backing up and tyler is fucking freaking out now because some guy just walked up to him and just tried to, is basically trying to fight him and harass him and i mean i can't blame the guy but you could kind of tell he was scared because the way he handled it like i understand like diffusing the situation is what you want to do I'm not going to lie to you. If some, the drunk guy was not in the best shape. Yeah, he was an older dude, but like he wasn't like one of those older dudes where it's like, okay, you might be able to beat me up, old man. Now, this guy was definitely like one of those dudes where you're like, you can definitely give him the fucking hands. And especially because he's drunk, like you could just beat the shit out of him. And he was just, he, he was just like, he was like, you know, where's security? Are you going to get that? And I'm like, bro, listen, just chill the fuck out, bro. Sit down eventually like i said when my floor manager walked over the drunk dude kind of walked away started going walking towards the elevators and just kind of left eventually security came but i was at a different table i was on the table next to them and they're trying to figure out what the hell happened and the guy's like telling them like he's like yeah there's some black dude which he was light-skinned latino and um he was like, yeah, he was just came up to me and just started harassing me, calling me all types of pussies and stuff like that. And then the security officer looks at me, and I'm like, dude, yeah. And I just start laughing. I'm like, everything he's telling you that's happened actually fucking happened. And um, sucks because the drunk dude, he had a uh, fucking player's card. So they had, the casino has his information. So most likely he's probably going to get in trouble next time he shows up. But hey, moral of the story is don't go out places and get drunk if you know you're going to be the type of guy that's going to fucking fight people or if you can't handle it. And now I know that there's people out there that really have, I knew like, you know, different substances like had different reactions or effects on people. But now I know like there's genuinely people out there that just get super fucking aggressive when they drink or do drugs and... With that note, with that being said, with all these fucking interact like distractions going on in the background, you might be able to hear. I just clacked my phone against my desk. My name is Lost Disciple, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Shit never is as bad as it seems. Fuck a lifespan, this is just one long dream.